Assalamu alaikum brothers and sister. Iman is conviction which is based upon reason and knowledge, a conviction that results from full mental acceptance and intellectual satisfaction, the kind of conviction that gives one a feeling of inner contentment and peace. The word Iman itself is derived from the stem Amnon, which refers to the state of safety. The word Iman can be translated into faith, referring to one's beliefs, in which we have the ultimate trust. Iman is a stone that keeps one's heart steady and balanced. Faith Iman in Islam stands on six pillars that I will be covering in this video in detail. These pillars of faith unite Muslims worldwide in their shared beliefs, providing a roadmap for leading a fulfilling and purposeful life in accordance with Islamic teachings. Number one, belief in Allah. At the very core of Iman lies the belief in Allah, the one and only God. Muslims believe in the absolute oneness of Allah known as Tawheed. This belief is not merely a theoretical concept, but a fundamental aspect that governs every dimension of a Muslim's life. Tawheed emphasizes the idea that there is no God but Allah and that He is all-powerful, all-knowing, and the sustainer of the universe. Tawheed influences every aspect of a Muslim's life, from daily prayers to ethical conduct. It reminds Muslims to acknowledge Allah's presence in every action and decision, fostering a deep sense of humility and reliance on Him. O mankind, remember the grace of Allah upon you. Is there any creator other than Allah who provides for you from the sky, rain, and the earth? None has the right to be worshipped but He. How then are you turning away from Him? Number two, belief in angels. The second pillar of Iman is the belief in angels known as Malaika. Angels are considered divine beings created by Allah to carry out His commands and record the deeds of humans. Muslims believe that angels play a significant role in their lives, from the recording of deeds by the Kiraman Katibin, the noble scribes, to the angel Jibril, Gabriel, who brought Allah's revelations to the Prophet Muhammad, Malik, who has been appointed and entrusted with hell, Ridwan, who was entrusted with paradise, who disobey not from executing the commands they receive from Allah, but do that which they are commanded. The belief in divine books or kutub is the third pillar of Iman. Muslims are required to believe in all the sacred scriptures revealed by Allah, including the Quran, Torah, Psalms, Gospel, and others. Out of these, the Quran, as the final and most comprehensive revelation, holds a special place in Islam. It is seen as the ultimate source of guidance for all aspects of life. It is he who has sent down the book, the Quran, to you, Muhammad, with truth, confirming what came before it. And he sent down the Torah and the Gospel. Prophets, or Anbiya, are an integral part of Islamic faith. Muslims believe that Allah has sent prophets throughout history to guide humanity. The final prophet, Muhammad, holds a unique and revered status among them. Prophets serve as role models and conveyors of Allah's message. They guide people toward righteousness, justice, and a closer connection with Allah. And we sent messengers about whom we have related their stories to you before, and messengers about whom we have not mentioned to you. And to Musa, Moses, Allah spoke directly. Number five, belief in the day of judgment, Kiyama. The concept of the day of judgment, or Kiyama, is the fifth pillar of faith in Islam. Muslims believe that on this day, all individuals will be held accountable for their deeds and their eternal fate will be determined. The belief in Kiyama motivates Muslims to live righteous lives and be conscious of their actions, knowing that they will be answerable to Allah on the day of judgment. And they will say, who shall bring us back to life? Say he who created you. Number six belief in divine decree. The sixth and final pillar of faith is the belief in divine decree, or Qadar. It encompasses the idea that everything, both good and bad, is preordained by Allah's divine will. Belief in Qadar fosters resilience and trust in Allah's wisdom, even in the face of adversity. 
It encourages Muslims to accept life's challenges as part of Allah's greater plan. Whatever of good reaches you is from Allah, but whatever of evil befalls you is from yourself. And we have sent you, O Muhammad, to the people as a messenger, and sufficient is Allah as witness. The six pillars of faith are not merely religious beliefs, but profound sources of strength, wisdom, and guidance. Embracing these pillars can lead to a life filled with inner peace, moral clarity, unity, resilience, purpose, and hope. In a world where uncertainty prevails, the six pillars of faith provide a steadfast foundation upon which individuals can build their lives. Comment anything you want to understand about this video and subscribe to know more about Islam.